All right, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we got Steven here today. He's our lead fabricator. Uh, he actually gets to play with these tools more than I do these days, so um, you may have noticed him in some of the other videos. Uh, he's gonna pretty much start doing more stuff, and I'm gonna start shooting more of the stuff, and we're gonna see how that stuff does with the other stuff. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, but today's video, we're gonna see if we can make this pile of parts back here do the same thing as this sheet metal break back here. Good to you? Yep. Just on this side or like both sides? Or which side do they go? Oh, and that's right, just like that. Like this? You're gonna be pulling back towards yourself. This is gonna flip up. Okay. Same joker on this bad boy. Yep. Center it up or? Yeah, center it up. Yeah, I just nail it, man. Well, I need to check both sides so we don't have another guy like you had on this one. Yeah.
guy goes on top of there. Pointing back this way. Yep. This doesn't get welded down? No. That's the hope. Is that those triangle things over there are going to grab the top of this. Now you got to take this nut off, slide this down on there and get that. I would weld in the gusset flat and then we can bend that tab later. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Just making sure we're on the same train. Well, no, uh, this is past. Remember, we got to flush this down. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it should be running into it. See right here? It is. All right. So what, weld the hinges on? Yeah, it's finished welding those hinges out. And then you take this top bar off and then flush grind this whole thing. And then we'll start shoving metal in it. Sides of them. Yeah, it's gonna need all the it's gonna need all the it can get. See you lifting it up and sliding the metal in there. Pretty big radius. I think it had to do with this lifting up, so if we tighten that down, probably should snug it down better. Yeah. You sure? No. Let's see if it pushes it down anymore.
front here. All right, see, so we got tight iron over here, then it opens up for our plate, and tight back over there. It's drawn down over here. Let's see if we can tighten up the radius on this bend a little bit. Bend it again. Nail it. How straight is it? Pretty straight. All right, how many inches is that? 18 inches a uh, 16 gauge? 16. 16 inches? I'll say we do a smaller one. All right, here's the real test, guys. We've got a full four feet of 18 gauge. Mm -hmm. Nice. It worked. It worked. All right. Dude, that's pretty cool. All right, you guys noticed the big bend radius we had before. Um, I basically found out what was going on here. We had, this angle was a little bit too light, and this angle was a little bit too light. The wall thickness wasn't enough. So I went ahead and beefed up a little bit of material here and actually moved this whole angle up closer to this leading edge. Um, originally, I was gonna try and cut notches in this and be able to use it as a finger break, but that whole concept doesn't work very well so the uh, plans that I have on the website are a modified version of what you see here um, it gets rid of this plate and it steps this up to a quarter inch angle and this up to a quarter inch angle and um, you end up getting a lot tighter radius bends this one has a relief in it so not a great example but it really tightens up the radius more than the original bends that we did so hey guys, if you're interested in this uh, sheet metal brake that we built, I went ahead and posted either a parts kit on the website, um, also the DXFs and PDF plans are available. Um, it's kind of a handy tool. You could make this a little bit cheaper yourself. It's not gonna work as good, uh, but it was a fun project. And I do have to say, disclaimer, there was a fair amount of warping and stuff going on with this while we welded it out. Um, so you really need a strong back, a flat table, um, some sort of work surface that's going to let you draw all this stuff back down flat and weld it out together. Um, otherwise, this thing could go wrong in a number of ways. So uh, not a super beginner fabrication project, uh, but if you guys have some hours under the hood, you might enjoy making this. So happy making. Later.